Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mesh and Blind. And hello, Carl. Last time! He arrives just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. That, that's new. Um, last time, we went to another area to find one of the shards. It was a mining area that apparently, like a railroad type thing, that apparently went through the air territory. Ura territory without their permission a long time ago, so they might be kind of a bit sad about that. And we found another survivor, but he didn't want to come back with us. He instead had a message for Zia, and we delivered said message to Zia, and now she apparently, according to the note anyway, should go out to some place and abandon us here because he's going to learn the truth about the calamity and the Ura and the everything, but first, food. He wolfs down too much too fast, and it all goes to his head. Gosh darn it! Not this again. I've said a lot about the kid, but he ain't the only one wrapped up in all this. Alright. So now we get some backstory on Zia, I guess? This is a cool looking area. Alright, this is probably not my favorite area in the game. I mean, there's not a lot here, but dang, does this look awesome. Okie dokes. Oh, okay, but, uh, well. Ah, and this me piece of this music again. I do like this track. What's he thinking? Uh, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. What did you hear? Is this what I think it's gonna do? Yes, yes it is. Goodbye! And this is why we bring the repeater. This is why we have five tonics. This is why I don't like these things. These Mike Wazowski things with spikes. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tazzle terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Ceylonia. All right. Let's see if we can finish her backstory. Ooh, bollocks. No, I'm gonna use the shield this time and be smart. That doesn't help much. Oh. Final heal, jeez. Go away. Alright, there we go. The folks were orphaned in the war, taken in and raised inside the city, on condition they would never return to the terminals. Okay, well... That's a way to start out things. Rux, how do you know all this? Ura refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. Well, I am starting to question everything here. Stop shooting me! As... Like when we did uh, the kid's backstory, we're gonna probably not be talking as much just so we can hear the sound, sultry voice of Rux. Mama passed away from birthing complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. I know he may not have... I know that may not... I don't know what I'm saying anymore because I'm getting stuck in things. I don't like a lot of these monsters, to be fair. But, this isn't being too terrible that, thus far. I'll be honest, I'm not as curious about Zia, because I kind of feel like we have a bit of her backstory already figured out, just based on proximity of how we found her, and Zulf and all that stuff, but... The father was sharper than a brusher's pike. So he got a job working for the city's manses. His daughter barely saw him. Okay. Have some grenades. Hi there, would you like a grenade? Cause there you go. Her father told her nothing of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the mansers. It's for your own good, he said. What the heck are the mansers? I I want some answers about those mansers. Nailed it. 
Hello. Goodbye. She took to studying the arts. Learn more through music than history books. Gain a knack for strings and songs. I like that. Uh oh. Got a big one. Go away, Banjo Kazooie. Don't, don't leave! That's rude! At first, she tried to be like other girls. But her classmates spread word that her father was an urban traitor, selling out the city. But what? Well, that's not very nice at all. All right. There we go. Lots of things are dead, and what is trying to shoot me? That's trying to shoot me, apparently. I like that when I get poisoned, the music starts to go a little, like, crazy. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Hello. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him. Was that you? Oh, hi! Queen Anne's here, apparently. Hey, Queen Anne. So we get to fight you properly now. We didn't get we didn't get such a chance a few episodes ago. I hope you like my hammer. It is fairly powerful if I do say so myself. But if you don't like that, you can have the repeater in your face. Either is a fine option. Choose your dining pleasures of how to get killed. Ow! <laughs> okay, uh, Queen Anne starts to get pretty pissed off. So it starts to come out much rap more rapidly. I can see why the pike is useful. But luckily my hammer is more powerful than that, so this should be... There. The young man convinced her to take him to a family den to meet her father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. Okay. Who are we talking about, Rux? Talking about yourself? Talking about the kid? Who are we talking about? We don't know. We just don't... Okay, Kazooie's. Kazooie's everywhere. They make Kazooie noises when you hurt them. That's why they're Kazooie's. Alright. And I'm just going to use a long range weapon here because getting close to that, it sounds like a bad time. When the young man greeted her father in the Ura's native language, her father flew into a fit of rage. And threw them out. Okay, well, so that man didn't help at all. Thanks, Rux. I'm just going to assume it was Rux. Oh, hello! Don't do that ever, please. Thank you. Have a grenade. <laughs> the young man never told her that the Ura's native language is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. Well, maybe he didn't know that. Did you think about that? Maybe he didn't know that. Maybe he was trying to bridge the gap between two cultures. But your gosh darn pride got in the way. It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tassel Terminals. How'd that work out? We might not get to find out, based on how poorly I'm playing here. At least the Mike Wazowski eyes just kind of stopped. Except for that one. Go away. Am I going to get any more health tonics by chance? Because that would be very helpful. Just saying. Alright. Bye. 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 They would hide inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag. Then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. Okay. Oh, and now we have two. Well, okay, well now it's big. But, the fact that there are two does make this a bit more problematic. Okay. I got it. 
There we go, and they can hurt each other too, so this works perfectly. Oh boy, okay, time. Almost succeeded, but the authorities were already there when that scumbag settled up to the city walls. This ain't going too well, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right. The young man had sent the authorities a tip. Told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazzle Terminal. Wait, what? What a jerk! father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. I don't like this story. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Who's good and who's evil? Everyone. By everyone. Before they parted ways for the last time, Father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. Okay. So a lot of, I'm getting the calamity may have been a thing that the Ura were doing to kill the people from Zalandia, cause they don't seem like they're that great of people, based on destroying other cultures and stuff. So you never know! You can stop firing at me any time, that would be great. And, okay. Got you. You, on the other hand, are a problem. But, your attacks are pretty easy to dodge, so... Not complaining there. Boop, 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 hit the wall, and explodes in my face. Shoot a lot, run away. It's not a lot to say, when it's just combat, it's just, it's just, it's just combat. Getting some interesting stuff about Zia. She did as she was told, and deep down underground inside that den, she found a journal written in her father's hand. Uh, uh what the fuck? Why are you here? Okay. Hi, me, and me, and me. How you guys doing? Please don't hurt me, because you're hurting yourselves. Truly, that is the metaphor for what's going on here. But, it also might be the metaphor that ends in my untimely demise. And by timely, untimely, I mean very timely. And they apparently become obstacles once they're destroyed, so that's, that's great! No thank you. Okay, one bullet. Goodbye. The next day, the door to the den turned to ash. The girl came up for air, and she saw the calamity all around her. Reflection complete? Oh, okay, I did it. I did it! 
So, stuff happens. I'm sorry, Zia. Zia wakes up. His world's still in pieces. Just the way he left it. And also, guess what we haven't done yet? Ta-da! It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Alright, what's upgrade this time? Um... Let's upgrade the arsenal, I guess. How's that work? Oh, right. Just a skill. Here. Do. And here. Let's do that. Cause the I'll... memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. Because that will give us more stuff to do. We built the city strong. Now there's only two of us. We built this city on the tears of another civilization. That's not good. All right, all right. Okay, re fifty percent damage. Touch to rattle those bones like that. Twenty-five percent fast reload. Hell yeah, or twenty-five percent. Ooh, mm, reload. You've made a right comfortable bed for all those bullets. Bolts can ricochet. Oh my gosh, I want that. Okay. Anywho, that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Bastion Blind. How did you How did you like that story, Carl? Thank you. If you did like this video, just like Carl apparently did, please consider hitting that like button below, and if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, ciao!